It is a struggle inside health systems across the state having enough staff to care for all of the people in need. It's all related to sharp increases of COVID patients and as Mike McDaniel explains the need for help for, for doctors who are taking on new roles. Much like the rest of the country, Ochsner Health System is trying to make sure enough medical staff is on hand to take care of an onslaught of COVID patients. It's frustrating because it's, a, it's an avoidable problem. Doctors like surgical oncologist Brian Moore know frustration means there's a need. To help meet it, he and other physicians are adding to their jobs, helping care for COVID patients. A number of us have uh, worked as nurses' aides uh, on day shift and night shift in the ICU to, to help them just do basic stuff. The rotation between surgeon and nurses aide is going on two weeks now and sometimes happens in the same day. In times like this, there are no hierarchies, you know, like it's not Dr. Moore, it's Brian, it's I'm just what do you need? Whether it's recording vital signs, bathing patients or emptying trash cans and urinals, Dr. Moore says working together is the only option. There are a lot of folks that are getting worn down by the sort of the, the, the constant barrage of, you know, of COVID. And so whatever we can do to show support, whatever we can do to help, you know, is meaningful. Statewide, there are nearly 3,000 COVID patients across the Oshner Health System, which includes parts of Mississippi. Dr. Moore says as of Monday, there were just more than 1,000. That's the most the healthcare system has seen at one time, 88% of them unvaccinated. We hope not to have to do it for much longer. You know, we like for people to get vaccinated. We like for the rates of new, you know, COVID cases to start to decline. Dr. Moore says that takes personal responsibility and hopes the same commitment of care inside the hospital happens outside of it. If we don't show some empathy and care for each other, then this will happen again. And I worry that, that as this continues to go on, that the people who are here providing care are going to get tired. In the meantime, bouncing back and forth between the operating room and ICU is now part of the job. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News.